Now, did you notice that there are a lot of references to classified information in this episode that like, oh, you don't have clearance or so-and-so doesn't have clearance or somebody with a lower ranking still has more classified info than somebody else. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, th- I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of weird that it would be classified, but um, well, I guess some aspects of it being classified, uh, like the fact that they went a thousand years into the future, but like the whole battle in and of itself, how could you keep that classified given it was so large? Well, and that's that's another thing right there, too, that becomes an issue again here later. I never understood, and, you know, we'll, we'll get back to that episode when we get there, but I wasn't aware that Federation craft carried fighter drones or whatever, you know, and I don't know if that's a thing we're just supposed to be used, you know, get used to in the modern era or what, but it always, it just, that struck me as weird. And you didn't watch uh, Picard, but season one ended up with, like, a fleet of, like, 500 Romulan ships facing down uh, Captain Riker with 500 Federation ships just eyeballing each other, you know? (laughs) And I'm like, that's an awful lot of ships when you consider the Federation brought, like, 18 to fight the Borg. Yeah, one of these days I'll I'll get into it. (laughs) But, yeah, just that large a number just kind of strikes me as odd. 